So how much sales have you made now? Sixty-two and a half thousand dollars. You remember I used to charge hundred dollars. Now it's three thousand dollars. Pay off my entire loan in India. My son is very happy. Huge mindset shift. So good, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel? Yeah, good, good. I think uh, now I'm very comfortable with the routine, the business aspects. So day to day things is all in control. Now I'm thinking of like. Two three times bigger and how to expand and grow. Mm, nice, nice, nice. We'll just keep this rolling like this. Only we'll just have a conversation, right? It's been great seeing your journey as well, and now you're like so much more confident. So compare yourself, like you know, before now, like how do you feel? How does your wife feel? How's the family? You know, like when you join, how are you feeling? How are you going to do? And how is it? I just want to. I'm so curious. Like, how do you feel now? much better you know when you have uh, money coming in every month so i understand this very very clearly the money is power right when you have it in your pocket you know it gives you that strength at the back right like i did not have a uh, three months of job completely but i know there's a running figure that is coming in whatever it is and that helps you like it opens up a lot of like i don't have to think many things now right so yeah, that's one aspect. Second is that confidence level is high. People have started appreciating. My clients have seen a lot of changes uh, in themselves. So that gives a very good thing, uh, you know, that I'm doing things on a right track. My first batch to the fourth batch right now, a lot of changes. I have grown a lot in terms of how I'm going to train. How do I do conversations now? That's nice. And how does your wife feel about all this? Oh, she's very happy, of course. My son is very happy. My son is more actually into this a lot. Uh, he's just turning eight now. Yeah. But he has a lot of understanding in terms of the business. He'll ask me actually, are you going on a sales call or is it a regular call? Oh, so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so when I say it's a sales call, so he's like, close it. <laughs> you yeah. know? He actually tells me to close and come. Uh, then he'll ask me that, did you close it? Uh, did you got your $3,000? Yeah. Then I'll have to explain him, oh, you know what, this happened, that happened and so on. <laughs> that is great. And, and how do you feel as a dad having that conversation now with your son about money and business and sales? It's very good because I think like my father never had such conversation with me, right? Nobody had in that sense. So when I'm talking to him, we talk about million dollars and this and that, uh, value of a product, what ex service you know, why I charge this much and stuff like that. So we get into that level of discussions as well. So it's quite interesting that he also asks me because he's a child, he asks a lot of questions, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's good to see that, you know, we are discussing things that generally, at least my parent did do that. Awesome. And <laughs> this is great. Like, you know, having these financial conversations with your child as you grow, you build that mindset, right? Yeah. So, so how much sales have you made now in, since you've actually joined here? It's been about, it's coming to about a year now. It's about literally about just 11 months now. How much? Sixty-two and a half thousand dollars. Awesome. And how do you feel about that, man? Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> so, you know, when I didn't had job, I had this money kept like before losing the job, like not losing the transition time. Right. Yeah. So I had this uh, money that I used to get. You always said that keep it in separate, right? So I had around $9,000 accumulated there. And that helped me during my tenure as well. Uh, now, again, I've done the same. I've already accumulated around seven, dollars $8,000 because it's a recurring income, right? There's a recurring income now. What's the and recurring I, income now every single month? It's approximately $4,000 every month uh, that I get. And it's there till now, at least next April. Awesome. How do you feel about this recurring income? Like now, is there more stability? Is there more peace of mind? Like, what do you feel about having this recurring income? There is definitely, there is peace of mind for sure. Mm. Stability, I'll not say this because now my thought is like, okay, I have touched 60. How my goal next year is to touch 300 to 500. Okay. Mm. I'm going to, because now I know the process. Now I can say I'm settled in this one area and I can do this at the back of my head, like take calls, go to webinars, take sessions, bill this, that, all this is there. <laughs> 
now I want to see how the five hundred thousand dollars look yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. But imagine this. I'm hearing this right. Just go back in time, like before you you sort of joined, and you're like, I don't know, will it work? And prior to that, nothing has worked. So did I deliver on the promise? Oh, of course, of course you did. I think the best part, what I liked about you when I started off initially, you know, yeah. you're there, right? You're there. You answer the questions, whatever doubts I have, you calm me down. You remember that one incident that happened, right? When somebody said that, you know, you are taking up my program and stuff, right? Mm. You were the one who actually said to look into a different viewpoint, right? And I'm actually, I was just thinking about the same today. So yeah, you're there, uh, you help. Of course, your guidance and everything, the sessions are all good. But the most important thing for me is that you're there at the back, you know. So I know that if there is something I doubt or something, I can always go back to you and ask you. And here's an interesting thing. I'll get an immediate response. Hmm. Sometimes like bang there, like in a minute, if not in an hour. So hmm. it's really good. And detailed messages, right? Even voice notes from you and stuff like that. So that helps. Nice, nice. It's, and it's good to see your journey as well. You know, it's it's like when you grow, I also grow. The questions you ask, I'm like, hey, that's a good question. Even I've been there. But sometimes, you know, when you go through certain things, you forget certain questions you asked yourself. So it's a good learning process. Like you grow, I grow, you win, I win. And that's the beauty of this journey. But I also want to acknowledge you. Like you took the action. You actually took the action. You celebrated your wins. How do you feel about like celebrating wins every day and every time you win? How does that impact you, your family, your business? Let's let's hear that. So now uh, we have a culture in my group that we start off every call with wins. Hmm. So I teach my clients to celebrate wins. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the logic is very simple, right? That the more you celebrate win, it's basically saying thank you to the universe that, hey, you know what? Thank you. Yeah. And I'm so happy. And uh, the more you get eventually back. So we are every time we have this feeling of gratitude now within us. Yeah. Uh, that we celebrate it as well. Saying that, oh, thank you. I have won it. I'm so happy. And let it flow more. <laughs> yeah, I can feel the energy so different. Look, it's it's definitely uh, hasn't been a, a easy ride. The process is simple. So let's talk about the other side, man. Like, did you find it like low moments, high moments, and uh, what is your journey like? I'm I'm also curious to see because it's been a while. I've gone through that. Now I'm actually sharing people and seeing what you go through. So so just I'm curious. Like when you were low, what did you do? How did you recover when you were high? How did you make sure you kept on the high and you know the family energy the kid energy with the wife as well with the work as well with the business as well like so much goes on right so let's hear that yeah i think uh when it all started the first doubt that i had was that am i worth those couple of thousand dollars mm. uh, because you remember i used to charge hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> and now how much do you charge now it's three thousand dollars you've gone from hundred to three thousand that's a big journey Hundred dollars to three thousand dollars. Well done. Well done. Thanks. So yeah, That's continue with your journey. Yeah. So the the point is that when you move from hundred dollars to two thousand dollars, right? The question in was your it two head, or was it three? No, first it was two. Mo oh. Eventually, in last, I have moved from two to two point five. Ah, ah, okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Great. So, but the first cut was like when I started. It was like two thousand dollars. Oh my god, am I worth it? I definitely knew when I was charging 100 that I'm charging very low. But mm. the question is that no one trained and mentored me to say that, hey, go off, you know, go and charge it. Mm. So that was the first thing. And of course, then the process of, you know, getting everyday webinars. I have one thing I appreciate about me, and I know I'm boasting this, but I do take action. <laughs> I don't stop because my fundamental is very simple is that if you will not do it, you will not know whether you're pass or fail. So it's better to do fail and then say, oh, this didn't work. Mm. Right? I have done approximately nearly 50 webinars or maybe more than that. I have spoken to close to 200 people. 
Nice, nice. Uh, Go back in time a little bit when you were like, when you were taking your first phone call, for example, right? You know, you've gone to 200 people now. What's that journey like? Oh man, I can't talk to people. Uh, were you always great at sales? Were you not good at sales? Were you always good at webinar? Were you not good? What was it before and what is it now? I was not good at sales. I was a coaching person, a teacher. Hmm. And what I learned over a period of time now is that you should not teach, period. I mean, that's the worst you can do on the call. Uh, you got to close the sale and there's a way you need to do that. So understand the pain, empathize, close. Mm. <laughs> what I used to do, I used to teach. So at one point, my calls used to run for one hour, 90 minutes and, you know, and then nobody used to still buy it. Probably I've made them more miserable. <laughs> Now, over a period of time, I've learned, 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 learned. Again, what you said, right? Take calls, take calls, you know, 100. That was your target for me. And I remember I when I touched around 50, 60, I said, hey, can I keep somebody to take these calls? Mm -hmm. And he said, no, touch 100. Now I've crossed close to 200. But yeah, it's been better. I think uh, it's not about teaching. There's a system. There's a way which you had shared. you got to follow that way. There's a steps that you had mentioned, what you need to do when and stuff like that. You got to follow those to ensure that it's it's a sales call and it's not a coaching call. Coaching, I can do it later. That's what I also learned. That once they are into my area, then I can coach them, teach them, whatever. Mm. So that was one. There were many, many, many low moments because it's, yes, you were there with me, but in a way, it's still a alone journey, right? Like it's me. Correct. Mm. So right from videos to creation, to editing, to posting, to connecting, to podcasting, everything is just me. Uh, so it was a challenge. There were times when people just reject you out right front. And mm. I had a bad six weeks of no sale. Like I in six weeks, in every week, I let's say I talked to around eight people. That is like 50 people and zero sales. So that was like very sad, right? You start questioning yourself. But again, like I had a word with you and you mentioned the dip and yes, there was a dip. And then yes, it went forward up. And in fact, after that, I made, there was a time where I closed like four to five, every call I used to take and it was a sale. It was like that. Mm. I took like seven calls and five sales and understand this. It's a high ticket for India. Uh, even it's a high ticket in general. Mm. 1.7 lakh rupees in India. Yeah. So it's reasonably high for people to pay. Yes. But over this journey, I also realized who I do not want. Remember, you, you also used to say this, that, you know, it's good so that those people don't come into your group. And first I didn't realize, but now I understand this, who I do not want. That's how now I have this screening process and this and that. And I know that the last person who will connect with me is almost ready to be sold. Hmm. That's good. That's really nice. Good. Very good journey. Very good journey. Now, look, suppose you look back in time, right? So are you happy with your progress to start with? Yeah. 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 Very much. <laughs> and and the above the best part is your son is actually even more happy than you i think <laughs> yeah, he is definitely yeah it's lovely to hear that story you know like the the father teaching the son i get a lot of questions asked also you know how do you train kids how do you do i think what you've done best is really just involve them in the process explain them what you've done i think that's a that's a great thumbs up for you as well well, well done well done on that here is one more thing hmm. he actually comes during my sessions he's yeah. what my uh, folks so because i have a communication session so i yeah. actually use him as a prop and we do it <laughs> that's, uh, nice. that's one of my selling point as well so when i'm selling i show them that hey you know what my son is going to come and teach you yeah <laughs> that is great that is great I, it's and you're living by example uh this is so great now if you look back in time right to the amit who's now in australia right and uh, having a child before, what was your limitations about business? And what is it today now? Like sales before, sales today. Webinar before, webinar today. The person you were before, the person you are today. Like just show us that contrast. I am, I'm also really curious to see how you see yourself now compared to before. Well, before it was a consumer mindset, right? Mm. So like 
business was like it's a business we are not meant for that we are the employees uh mm -hmm. nine to five and be happy like job 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 was the only thing correct so after getting into this side of the world producer world right i realized that so i used to always do a lot of uh coaching and mentoring when it comes to project management as a volunteer mm. yeah but i never realized that those seven eight years of volunteership i can practically use it for making some money as well mm. so the first doubts were like am i worth it because there are like hundreds and thousands millions of people right not just hundreds and the millions of people so that was one thing so the second thing was that okay now the thought process has to change because that's the biggest thing uh, like you got to start thinking in a completely different way like my family is still 9 to 5 hmm. right so my in-laws and they so it's a very difficult thing when they have to think like that i'll give you a classic example i have when i started here i started my own company as well now i don't get taxed when i get the money from my company right i pay it later hmm. It's a big thought process change of finance now because people are used to getting money after it's taxed. Yes. And then they start thinking, oh my God, now I have to change my thought process. Yeah. And I have to figure out how I'm going to use the money because it's my money now. Yes. And I have to figure out how I'm going to do what. Yes. So that aspect. And then, you know, I also have an employee. <laughs> So I have to figure out how to make payments to them. Mm. International transactions. There's so many things that you learn eventually. Yeah. So now when I see an organization, I actually see them as an organization and I say, oh, this is what they're doing. Yes. Can I implement that in my little organization? That sort of a thought process. Mm. Rather than just seeing them as a, a product service company. Yeah. But I see them, oh, they are billion dollars. What can mm. I do to start replicate? Oh, so it's good. a big, huge mindset shift. Huge yeah, mindset. I can see that. I can see the energy shift as well, you know. And like when you were thinking, you were coming here, you're like, you know what? I don't know. I've tried so many things. Have you mm. tried so many things? And you're like, didn't work. And why will this work? Did that process go in your uh, mind or not? Of course. I, I mean, I, I did try many things. Like yeah. uh, before this, I had, like I said, I had a program. And it was only $100. At that time, nobody mentioned that, hey, you know, you're worth this much. Why are you charging? And honestly, $100 doesn't even break even anything. <laughs> uh, nothing. So we were actually putting our money in. Mm. Uh, I had already lost. It was not huge because I took a break, but I still lost around some two, $3,000. Yeah. Right. Uh, so... For a salaried person, going money out of your pocket and for this, now you can imagine, right? Then people start asking, why the hell are you doing business? Yeah. Now you're taking money from the salary. Yeah. Already less, you're yeah. taking out. So that's where, and then when I got your information, I did not actually book up a call immediately. Uh, not because that, you know, I was in a state where I was like, what should I do? Right. Mm. That was the question. And I think then we got connected and I was very open to you about yeah. my problems, right? My past. Yes. And I was very clear that, you know, this is where I have been and I don't want to be there. Yeah. Uh, because I personally know that I take a lot of actions. So I needed a person who can say that, do this, do this, do this, and off you go. And I'll go. I know. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Whatever people tell me. So I think that worked well because, uh, you know, you gave me the point where I can now charge higher. Mm. and grow and you know eventually yeah sixty thousand dollars plus is a decent amount of money when many i think the salaries of a lot of australians is around that <laughs> yeah that's right that's right so what you came in and when i share with you i'll help you this exactly will do did i deliver on that promise did i keep my words how do you feel about that what we said i would do and did i do it of course of course i think that's what i said like about you was that you were very clear on the things mm. that we're going to get. Yeah. And you, the sessions were always amazing. Mm. Right. And I personally believe this 
because I coach now people is that you can give all the things that you have, right? Mm. It's up to the people as well. Yeah. So in this case, I personally believe that I got it, I implemented yeah. it and the result shows. So that means whatever you taught, the result is showing up. Excellent. So I have a result basically, yeah. right? Of what you put in. So you got, what's the recurring income you're having now? 4,000. And what's the amount you've made from virtually zero, right? It was, right? Mm. And now how much you've made? 62. Hey, that's great. So what's next for you from here? Like you, 62 is great, but there's the next level, right? What's the next level? $500,000. Awesome. Awesome. We'll get there. We will actually work on that next level. Now, one thing is what brought you here? Again, it'll be like a different shift to take you there. So what brought you here won't necessarily get you there. You got to remold that shift. Are you ready for the next challenge? Yeah, absolutely. And how's your family feel about the next challenge? Oh, we are very excited. That's great. So I remember you told me a dream you had before that, you know, you're in a job and you want to transition and you want to actually, you know, start looking at uh, purchasing a home and everything. How close is that dream now? Interesting. You know, I was, you just said this, I was just talking to somebody with the figures. Ah. So, <laughs> so, okay, tell, tell me about it. I'm very curious now. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, so, you know, in I, so my son is around, uh, he's in grade two. Okay. Yeah. In Australia, what I've learned is that grade six onwards, post grade six, you have to change the school and stuff. Yeah, it goes high school. Right. Yes, correct. High school. So yeah. what I realized is that I have from now till grade six, I have time to stay where I am. Yeah. Okay, and not purchase a house. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to. I, I I'm not a big fan of house purchase and all that right now. For mm. me, it is investment point of view. That's what yeah, I okay. think. So if I buy it, then I have to stay and then there mm -hmm. it's not an investment anymore. Yes. Right? It becomes a liability. So the way the what what figure I just finished the call. So the call was that I will purchase a land mm. here in Victoria. We'll build on it and we'll mm. rent it out. Yes. And it requires a basic amount of money for the land purchase. And then there will be next year, there will be titling. So you need that basic amount to give that and then so on and so forth. Yeah. So now I'm happy that I have the money for the basic land purchase. <laughs> How awesome is that? You've now been That's able to get money. your business to generate money to buy a home. Exactly. So another within, source... within less than one year. One year. Yes. So. I was just talking to them. It's like thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars is what required, and I said, "Yeah, that's not a problem." Yeah. So now, to answer your question, right? So that was the first part, right? To get yeah, a yeah. So yes, I'll have a house. It doesn't matter whether I stay or not. It's a, it's my own property. Of course, it's your asset. It's my asset, exactly. Yeah. So the goal is that next year. So two goals, right? One was to buy a house. Second yeah. was to leave my nine to five. Yeah. For that, my target is uh, 2026. And okay. there's a reason for that as well. Yeah. Is by then, I should be fairly into a million dollars worth of business as well. Okay. Yes. Uh, to set up the team and other things. Hmm. So this year, I am the next year, I'm keeping my target really high because hmm. I want to just push further yeah. and see. Because here is the thing you kept a target for 100,000 this year. Yes, right? it was zero. Hmm. So hundred thousand was a still a decent amount of target, right? Yes. Because of the push, 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 I was able to touch sixty two. Yes. And still some months left, so maybe another ten k more. Yes. So and imagine you there was a period of really low, low, yeah. low period as well. There was a low period <laughs> as well. Exactly. <laughs> You've done well. So yes. Now I want to push it further to 500 yes. so at least i should be able to touch through three hundred thousand dollars or more yes and that is what money i want to put it back into this investment property so i have lesser loan as yes. well yes so yes. i have the base amount with me mm. uh you know and keep building the assets because you if you know this right so my basic background like my father passed away when i was 15 and we were bankrupt, literally, right? Mm. No house, uh, no money, nothing. And I was just 15. So mm. I've been working since 15, age 15, yeah. 94. Yeah. Uh, no brother, no sister. Mother passed away after nine years through mm. cancer. So it's been a very challenging thing whenever I hear money. Yeah. But I love money. Uh, I never hate it. <laughs> nice. The is that I want to make sure that 
uh, you know, we we don't have that trouble. Mm. Of, like when you lose a loved one, mm. you should not be worried about the money. You should be yeah. just worried about missing the person and mm. not the finance. Yeah. Because of that person. Yeah. That Very well said. Problem. Very well said. Yeah. Correct. And now do you feel you're a bit more financially stable, success, you know, to actually help your family going forward? Yes. Yes. And one, absolutely. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that the this little bit of incoming money, so now it is 4,000, but earlier it was 2, 3,000, 500,000, whatever. But that helped me with my uh, job, of course, hmm. to pay off my entire loan in India. Oh, great. So you actually yeah. paid off. I a, actually a... pumped in close to $50,000 last year. Nice. See? I made it so, zero. Great. So you actually cleared off your loan as well within less than a year. Yeah. Amazing. Well done, man. Big hats off to you. So great, great, great achievement, right? And now next level, right? So I'm going to ask you once again, how do you feel and are you ready for the next level? No, oh, absolutely amazing. I am massively ready. Great, great to hear that. And this energy, right? Let's shift it to the next level. Yeah. So well done, Amit. And by the way, uh, curious, uh, how would you actually answer this question? Now, if someone asks you, because I know when we start, you're like, I'm not sure how to answer this. But so if someone asks you, hey, Amit, what do you do? Where can I find you? How would you answer that now? I would say that uh, I'm an expert in corporate communication and you can find me on Google. Just type in Amit Khanna, a speaker. And the first page is everything me. How good is this? See, I just asked you what it is. What do you do? And before you're like, I don't know what to do. Now you're like, just Google me. Yeah. See, from, from a nobody to now, hey, just Google me. How does that shift feel in your business? <laughs> and, and and just the pride in saying, hey, just Google me now. Yeah. How does that feel? Very good. Absolutely. <laughs> so well done, Amit. So uh, Google Amit Khanna, right? That's it. Well done. Really, really uh, happy to be on this journey with you as well. So you've taken action, allowed yourself to grow, allowed me to grow, other people in the in the community also to grow. Uh, speaking of community, how do you feel the others have supported you in this journey? Very well, very well. I think uh, it's a good bunch of people there, mm. diverse group of people there, yeah. because everyone has different area niches and stuff. Yeah. So very diverse, plus locations as well. Uh, culture everything so mm. it's good and uh, whenever I post anything there's a lot of love and I can see that it's genuine love mm. it's not just for the sake of it so it's nice and uh, when you get connected you know it's good to chat around talk feel free comfortable so secured in a safe environment as well Nice, nice. Lovely to hear that. And you know, what's even more lovely is when you started, you said, I have a dream, I want to purchase a home. You are in the process of purchasing. The amazing part is you've also cleared a debt. you got a recurring income. You've taught your son, you know, business. And you now have some money kept aside as well. You know, happy family, uh, feel stable. What a great achievement. Well done, Amit. Well done to you. Thank you.